So here's a little bit closer look up of the tripod. So you can see there the logo, Geekoto CT25 Pro Craftsman. Um, the legs are carbon fiber, and I don't know if you can tell in the video or not, it's kind of dark, but there's a like a spiral type twist to the carbon fiber, which is kind of nice looking. Um, it's got all aluminum fittings here for the locking mechanisms. You got the compression style for the legs. Um, so I always have a problem with compression style legs on a lot of my my tripods i notice they'll get hard to push back in sometimes and up here in alaska i'll get ice stuck on them but these have been exceptionally smooth non-stop and i credit some of that probably to the carbon fiber itself but they're just absolutely exceptionally smooth legs which is really nice uh, nothing more annoying than having a leg get gunked up where you can't push it back in very well so uh, feet little rubber feet on the end there so this leg, as a lot of tripods do, it twists off and you can convert it into a monopod. I don't really ever use that feature, so it doesn't do much for me, but it is there if you want to use it. So ball head, uh, nothing really to scream home about here. It's pretty pretty typical from the Chinese type uh, tripods that I've dabbled in. They all seem to be getting similar to the same or dang near the same thing. Um, nothing abnormally bad about it, nothing abnormally good about it. Actually, nothing really bad about it that I found. Um, got the plate up here, level on the top, which is kind of funny. I put my camera here and it covers up the level. I don't know how you're supposed to use that, but uh, would be nice to have a level here. You know, I find myself a lot of time going into portrait mode um, and there's no level here to, to level up your camera. Although my camera has leveling assistance in it, um, it would definitely be nice to have a level in there. So this thing folds down to 19 inches uh, when fully folded up as tight as it goes. And it extends out to 79 inches when fully extended. To get to 79 inches though, um, you have to extend the center column up. And to give a show here, I don't know if you can still see, center column extends up like so. All right, and then there's a second center column that also extends up. Now. I would never find myself going this high with my camera to take pictures. It's just not going to be stable whatsoever. I don't know. I'm sure you could find some sort of use for it if you wanted to have something on, you know, maybe just getting video of some event or something like that. But um, yeah, I've, I'd never have my camera extended up that far. It's just no stability whatsoever at that point. But you can get it that high if you need to. It's been a super nice tripod. I like the carbon fiber. It's warm kind of to the touch, which sounds weird, but up here in Alaska, it gets blistering cold, and uh, aluminum tripods get just really, really, really cold to the touch. Uh, carbon fiber kind of, I don't know, it just almost feels warmer to the touch. It doesn't hurt the hand as much when carrying it around. It does come with a padded zippered case, and I never seem to use them. As soon as I get the thing, I take it out of the case, and I set the case aside, and I pretty much never touch it again, but it does come with a nice case. It has a strap on it, and you can carry it around like that as well. So. Other than that, yeah, it's been a great tripod. Uh, build quality is very nice for what you're paying for for it. No complaints so far. I, I've only been using it for a couple of weeks, but so far I definitely like it. Thanks for watching.